In this lesson, we are, we are going to talk about Kramer's rule. So basically, it's a rule. It's a rule for solving a linear system in this form. Okay. So let me go ahead and state the theorem, and then uh, we'll, I will do an example. Okay. Okay. So let A... Let a, let a be an invertible n by n matrix. Okay, so for any for any vector b okay, belonging R of n, the unique solution. Okay, The unique solution x of our of our system okay has entries given by uh, this following formula. So you have x of i equals to the determinant of a's subscript i of b divided by the determinant of a and that's going to be for however many um, however whatever the size whatever the size of the uh, solution vector is so from 1 to 2 to n all right so that's the theorem for kramer's rule okay so I'm going to do an example of this, okay? So this will explain how this works, okay? Um, all right. So let's say let's let's define our system as follows. So let's say I want to solve this system: four x one plus x two equals to six. Five x one plus two x two equals to seven. Okay. So first, right, this is uh, this system, okay, this can be written as four, one, five, two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and augment these uh, the vector the b vector on there. Okay, so this is right, so this is a and this is your and this is your b vector. Okay. Alright, so let's According to this formula, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to um, first find the determinant of a, okay. Then what we need to do is we need to take the determinant of the of the components. So we're going to take this v vector and slide it over, okay. We're going to take this and slide it over the first column of a, and then calculate the determinant of that. So that's going to give us the determinant of a one. Then we're going to take the b vector and slide it over the second column of a. Calculate the determinant of that, and then that will give us the determinant of, then we'll find the determinant of a2 of b. Okay? So let's first find the determinant of a. So determinant a in this case will be uh, we have so it's going to be eight minus five. It's going to give us three. Okay. All right. So now a. Okay. So we're going to calculate a one of b. So what this means again, this is we're going to take the column of this. Sorry, take the vector b and put it over over the first column of A. All right. So let me go ahead and write that out here. So six, we're gonna put six, seven here. And that's gonna be, replace the first column of A. And then we have one, two, okay? So again, it's going to, 
right? We're replacing this first column. Okay, and so that gives us, so we're taking six, seven and putting in for here, for this column. All right. So now, okay, so we can calculate the determinant of this. Okay, so. Okay, so the determinant of A1B is going to be 12 minus 7. Okay. And that's going to give us 5. Okay. Now let's do A. Okay, so for when I is 2, this is going to be A2 of B. So this time I'm going to take the second column of A and write it in for the second column of this matrix here. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, I'm going to take the column, I'm sorry, take the vector B and write it in for the second column of this one. So that's going to be 6, 7. So now 6, 7 is going here now. Okay. So we're replacing 6, 7 into this call into the second column of a okay so that means for the first this is going to be for the first column it's going to, it's, it's going to be the same same thing as the first column of a okay now we can take the determinant of a2 of b so that's going to give us 28 minus 30 so that's going to give us negative 2 all right so now we have everything, okay? We have the determinant of A, okay? We have, we have the determinant of A, we have the determinant of A1B and the determinant of A2B, okay? So our solution is gonna look like this. So for X, for X1, okay, according to our, according to the theorem, it's gonna be the determinant of A1B divided by the determinant of A. So that's going to be 5 over 3. Okay. So therefore, x1 is equal to 5 thirds. x2, okay, is going to be the determinant of A2 of B over the determinant of A. So the term of A2B we got was minus 2, and then the term of A is 3. So therefore, our solution, our solution to the system is, okay, 5 thirds and negative 2 thirds, okay? And this Kramer's method can be used for um, any you know, for any size uh, for any size system okay uh, as long as the a is an n by n matrix and the reason that we need to be an n by n matrix is because we're using the, the determinant here okay so it's a very nice uh, very nice theorem to use okay